Hey everybody, it's Tony, aka Natural Boss. Welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something different, very different than what I usually do. I'm gonna be um, doing a demo on how I blow out my hair, and I'm actually this is gonna be my first time testing out the Rev Air dryer, whatever it's called. I literally just got mine. This is my first time using it, so um, if I don't look like I know what I'm doing, it's probably because I don't. Um, I know that this machine is pretty expensive um i had like they gave me a slight discount so i think they're normally like four hundred dollars or close to four hundred dollars and i got mine for about 350 that's still very expensive for a hair dryer um, just to give you a backstory while i was not filming filming youtube videos i was kind of testing my hair i was stretching it more and um because my hair just gets tangled up so bad it, it just doesn't work i hate detangling my hair it takes way too long but anyway um, the reason why I didn't do it as much is because I know blow drying your hair can be damaging and so I didn't want to do that but when I read up more on the Rev Air supposedly it's supposed to be way less damage uses way less heat I think they said even when you turn this Rev Air to high it's still lower than what a blow dryer's high would be it's because I'm a lazy natural I actually I make hair videos I like I have these goals for my hair and everything but I really don't like spending a lot of time doing my hair and so this is also supposed to cut the time down and blow dry your hair as well and that's another reason why i don't like to blow dry my hair the um old-fashioned way or whatever it's because it takes too long and it just uses too much of my energy let's get started on this i will say i read the instructions i didn't read the whole book but i read basically the whole thing and i had looked at some other videos of people doing reviews so basically you wash your hair um and condition it like you normally would they say don't put like a whole bunch of leave-in conditioner so I, I recommend not using a cream based leave-in conditioner like maybe use a light liquid one. Um, I use a little bit of heat protecting spray and I already put that in my hair. I know it's not supposed to be damaging but I just don't want to take any chances because I work so hard to get to where I'm at right now. And um, the other thing to remember they say like I, I bet people probably tend to do this a lot. They take the wand on their hair and they probably move it up and down like that and they say don't do that. You kind of just move it on a scalp, but anyway, I'm going to be trying it, probably messing up or whatever. But, and then the other thing is, there's no perfect way. And just like how you do your own hair routine, you can't just copy what somebody else does or just, you know, maybe when you try something the first time, it doesn't work. You have to kind of, like, as far as heat settings and the speed, you kind of have to just work with it. They just There's no cookie cutter answer for who should do what. They have a nice little guy that tells you, they show a lot of black people <laughs> um in their advertisements and everything and that's nothing that thing that caught my i mean they show white people too or you know whatever color it doesn't matter about the color i'm basically talking about as far as the hair texture the curly you know hair the coily hair the loose hair whatever that seems like you can use it on just about any type of hair so that's another thing that's good okay so i'm not good with all the inches and stuff i think they said do like a three inch piece of hair you know if your hair is thicker obviously you might want to do less um or if it's thin, maybe you can do more or something. I don't know. So what you want to do is make sure that your hair is combed out. I know that. Or detangled, I'll say it that way. For a fact, I'm going to start and try to do a piece like this. I don't want to do a whole bunch of small pieces. But if it doesn't work, I will try smaller pieces. And so I'm going to set it on two. And then I'm going to turn. I don't know if you hear me. I'm so I'm going to put the speed on two because they said to start with that just to test it and then I'm going to have the heat on low. Okay, so they said like to test it to do it for like 10 seconds. I knew obviously I wasn't going to dry my hair. They said most people like it takes like 30 or maybe 60 or something to 90 seconds max. I'm pretty sure it'll probably take my hair to 90 seconds, but maybe not. So I, mean, I do feel that it did something. Obviously, it's not dry, but I'm going to do it um, for a longer time now. Um, I think I'm going to um, <laughs> turn the speed up to three and turn the heat on high. Mm. 
Okay, I actually stopped at um, 60 seconds and <laughs> you guys won't believe this. My hair is actually completely dry and it's even dry in the roots. It's amazing because when I use just a regular old um, hair dryer, it take, I have to keep going like that and I get tired of doing that. And it just takes forever to dry. Then by the time I get done doing all that, I've like sweated my hair back out. My hair is completely dry. And you guys see, I mean, it's not straight enough to, I mean, it's not a silk press, but this is pretty straight for blow dried hair. This is unbelievable. This is, I, I thought I was going to be, I, I thought I was going to be satisfied, but I thought I was going to be like mediocre, satisfied. I was like, eh, this, I mean, as far as I know, I will never use a regular <laughs> blow dryer ever again. If I want to flat fire my hair, this is better to me for a start, for a base to even do like a silk press or whatever. I can't believe this. So 60 seconds is it. 60 seconds on high heat on three speed is what does it for me. So I'm going to test the other piece. This is kind of a bigger chunk, so I might divide that in two. But I'm just like really super excited about this. Actually, what I decided to do, I'm going to do the 10 seconds on low and then 60 seconds on high. I think that's, I'll just stick to what I did on that piece since it worked so well. I think I'm going to put this piece in half. Still better than using a regular blow dryer, I'll tell you that. Yep, that works. This piece is just as dry. I will say one thing. I'll just let you know this thing is kind of heavy. I mean, it's not like super heavy, but it might be a little bit heavier than um, a regular blow dryer. But to me, it's not as awkward, so I still like it better. But anyway, so I'm going to do the rest of my hair and then I'll show you guys the end results. <laughs> Okay, for the back of my hair is clearly like way longer than the front of my hair. Um, it didn't do the ends as good um, as it did the front, the shorter pieces. It's not bad and I'm still like, going to use it. I'm not like this point and want my money back or anything. But just let you know, maybe if you have really long hair, it might not get the ends as good. And so I'm going to put it back on low heat and then um, do it again for like maybe 20 seconds or something. Okay, so I didn't want to like keep going high, um, doing it over again, but that putting it on um, low heat for another 20 seconds actually did the trick. So now it's fine. And then just let you know, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, you don't, when you use this, you don't pull it up and down the hair like that. And I don't, honestly, I don't even know what would happen if you did that, but they absolutely say don't do that. I think it'll tangle your hair up, um, but you can, you'll see me moving it like that. You can move it you know, like side to side on your scalp. And that's so that you get the roots dry. And I didn't, honestly, I didn't think this would no way dry my roots because my roots is like a problem when I blow dry my hair normally. And my roots are literally completely dry. But anyway, I'll be right back with the completed blowout. Okay, so this is the finished product. My hair is completely dry. And it was so, I mean, it might, I might have been fumbling around and stuff just because it, it was kind of awkward because it's my first time using it but it's it, to me it's way easier than a blow dryer I don't foresee myself ever using a blow dryer again the only time I'll use like a handheld is if I have a diffuser on it um to dry my hair like for a wash and go or something like that but other than that I mean this whoever made this was genius seriously and then the other thing I forgot to mention why this rev air is supposed to be goes so good it's less damaging and it actually makes my hair feel better than it does when I just blow dry it because when I blow dry it, I mean, it, my hair is dry all the time. When I blow dry it, it like makes it even drier. My hair, I mean, it's not the best right now. I'm not going to say I'm not going to put anything in it to moisturize it. But it doesn't feel near as dry or like, you know, kind of damaged or whatever as it does when I blow dry it the normal way. So, yeah, I love this machine. Um, so, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair now that I've blown it out. But I like my hair stretch. It's just much easier to manage. I'm not saying I'm going to do this all the time. And even though this... Rev Air is less damaging. I'm not saying I'm going to use it every week either, but just this is 
uh, to be a better alternative when I do want to blow my hair out or wear it stretched. But anyway, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, um, put them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.